winning a fight, yeah, it's it's uh, it's about more than more than just uh, beating the other guy into a pulp. But you know, um, all this talk, yeah. all this talk about like self defense and like winning fights. You know, these people are always asking like, what's the best best martial art for self defense and all that. I feel as though. Like when you ask that question, because I, I used to be like this too, like think, like run these scenarios in my head. What would I do if I get into an altercation? I would do this. I would do that. But me, like I was actually in like in like street gangs in, in my uh, in my late teens. And after that, I was. Uh, uh, yeah, in my late teens, actually, I was I was in I was in gangs and I was actually fighting a lot in bars, but it was always brawls. It wasn't like it was like 10 on five or 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 five on one or, you know, crazy stuff like that. Or, you know, just like all out like chaos, everybody just smashing bottles and throwing chairs around type of stuff. Right. So, yeah. But all that to say that, like, and, and then from throughout my twenties and even up until, um, for, for the longest time, I've always had this, Oh, you know, self-defense mentality where, Oh, if this would happen, I would do this, I would do that. And blah, blah, blah. but the truth is like, how often are you planning? on getting into street fights. <laughs> Good and, question. And, and, and here's the thing, like, where are you hanging out to always be getting into fights? Are you hanging out in, in bars? Is that what you're doing? You're drinking and then you're, you're getting drunk and you're picking fights with people and you're just waiting for it to happen? Or, or are you in a neighborhood that's so bad that you're essentially, um, you know, getting, getting robbed or getting, you know, like, like that, that's why this mentality I think that it, it, it might stem from people being bullied so they need to they want to train something to to get that self-confidence in case something happens but the truth is how often is it really gonna happen if it's even gonna happen in your lifetime yeah and, and it, I'm not saying this so that people don't actually go out and train they should because the truth is if you spend all your time training guess what you're not partying in bars you're not hanging around at after hours you're not there, you know, doing like uh, uh, doing, um, you know, dirty business that might uh, get you implicated in these kind of uh, stories, you know. So exactly. and you're developing moral character that helps you become the type of person that people don't want to beat up. Not yeah. because you're big and scary, but because you're you develop social skills and you're able to interact in a positive way with people. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So so that's why I like these. It's not that I, sometimes I, I get, uh, I find it funny that I get tired of, of seeing the same questions because I'm like, do you live in some kind of war zone, some kind of ghetto where like, you know, people are no, literally no. dying, like every day you're seeing like two, three people getting, getting killed in the street. There's fights happening everywhere. Like, is that what it is? You know, like what's big, you know, this big obsession with, uh, you know, self-defense. Yeah. And I think that, that people just kind of um, let their imagination go wild a little bit, right? Because they get no, bullied man. and they feel that, oh, next time I don't want, ever want this to happen to me anymore. And then they start watching videos on YouTube on, on self-defense and this and that. And they just go a little bit uh, off the rails. And, and it's just uh, in their imagination that, they're, that it's actually happening. But it's actually yeah. not happening, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I mean, that makes perfect sense. You know, I, I actually have seen people killed in the street in front of me. Like, um, I spent a couple of years in Argentina um, in the, uh, they call them Vichas de Miseria. Um, that means village of misery. They're like <laughs> basically ghettos, just ghettos made out of garbage. Um, very high crime rates. I was, I was there in the 90s, like right before the, the economic collapse. Um, back in 2000, I was there from like 97 to 99. Anyway, so I actually saw people get killed in front of me. I saw people shot in the street. I saw uh, horrible acts of violence. But at the same time, do you know how many street fights I got into in Argentina? Zero. Do you know how many street fights I've got into as an adult? Zero. Do you know how many street fights I anticipate getting into in my life? Zero. And why is that? It's not because violence doesn't exist. It does, it's not because violent people aren't out there. It's not because people don't get killed in the streets. It's because I choose not to participate in that. And I know when I say things like that, people are like, oh, well, 
well, I don't have that option. You know, violence follows me around. I, uh, I, you know, if, if you get in a couple of street fights in your life, all right, that's understandable. Sometimes violence is unavoidable, sometimes. But if you've been in a lot of street fights, it's because you're the jerk starting those fights. Man. Do you ever see those, those ads? I, I don't know if they, they still pop up, but for the longest time, every like martial arts themed channel got this ad from this, this dude with this fake name, John Black. He's like, let me teach you my secret street fighting system that will allow you to win a fight as easily as sneezing in just like two easy lessons. And it has nothing to do with MMA or boxing or whatever. And it, it was the stupidest ad. It was from this. Uh, uh, anyway, it, it, it was all fake, basically. If you actually bought the program and looked at it, it was, it's just the same basic self-defense nonsense everybody teaches. But this guy claimed to have forced himself to get into 600 street fights in order to learn how to fight, to develop this, this unquestionable system of, uh, of self-defense. And I was like, okay. If you get into 600 street fights, you are the problem. You are the problem, not the other guys. <laughs> you are the people, I mean, you are the one that people are afraid of. You are, the, you are the one that people worry about. You are the boogeyman, basically. Don't be that guy. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, like, you, you made a really good point there. Like, I think that um, in regards to... Like if you're always getting into fights, it's because you're you're essentially the problem. And so I believe in now that I think about it, I believe in learning how to fight with the intention of always avoiding the fight yeah. at all costs because it's just not worth it. You know? Yes. So it's better to be a warrior in a garden than in than a gardener in a, in a battlefield. I don't know if Ooh. you ever use that term. Right? Yes. So, so the whole point of learning to fight is really a question of uh, self-mastery and self-discipline. And it's actually to avoid the fight. It's not to get into the fight, yeah. if that makes any sense. And I think that's that a better approach. So, yeah. yeah. That so, makes perfect sense. So for all the, all, all the self-defense guys, the martial art guys who are worried about self-defense, like, don't think about fighting. Learn how to fight and then just avoid it at all costs. If ever yeah. it happens, well, you'll have the tools and the skill set, you know, but chances are if you spend a lot of time training like like you do, like I do, like a lot of guys who are, are you know, um, really heavy into combat sports, you're not going to have the time to fight and you're not going to, you know, like because you're, you're you'll be too busy training and, and then you'll be, you know, living your life and doing good things as opposed to hanging out, hanging around in bars or hanging around with criminals or whatever, you know, uh, and then yeah. getting into that kind of trouble. 